Hey guys, wanted to do a gear review video for you today. This might be a little hard to film for me, to be honest, as you're mostly going to be looking at a whole bunch of Digicam, but uh, I did want to bring this in front of you guys, as this is one of the better pieces of kit that I've I've picked up in a long time, and I've had it for, for a few years now. Um, as you can see, it is, what do they call that, CADPAD or Digicam? This is the Canadian um, camo pattern, I guess. I'm not big on uh, on what generation and when they implemented a certain type of camo and all that stuff, guys. So uh, I just don't have that info for you. But I can tell you I picked this up from local army surplus shop. And this is a poncho. This is a rain poncho. Um, does a great job as a rain poncho. I think it was about $30, give or take. But I think I've only used it as a rain poncho twice. Other than that, it's been a tarp. Um, and a real good tarp, actually. Uh, I've used this uh, in some winter camps as, uh, as a shelter. Um, I think I've got a picture here somewhere I'll roll in for you of just a, a little platform with this as a, as a lean-to, essentially, that I put up. Um, but it's done a great job. This thing is nice and heavy. It's got some, uh, some good heavy duty snaps in it. As you can see, they're nice and solid. And they are reversible as well. If you want to snap it the other way, you can. As you can see, they're, uh, dual sided uh, these are only single stitched uh, but I haven't had any trouble with them coming out at all uh, any of the seams well, actually let me show you as well as I mentioned it is also a tarp besides being poncho it's got some nice big ring eyelets in it um, good for tying it down uh, making sure it doesn't fly away on you when you're using it as a shelter has a hood built in, of course, being a poncho, with a drawstring on it. And tie it right tight around your face and uh, keep all that nasty Canadian weather out. As you can see, any inside seams are coated as well as stitched. Keep it nice and waterproof. I don't know how well that's focusing for you there. There we go. Yeah, there's a, a rubberized or a wax coating over all of those seams. And on the inside of it, it has... Let's see if I can get to it for you here. There we go. I guess this would be the uh, waistband, essentially. Once it's, uh, you tie that around your waist once you've got it on, cinch it up. Of course, it snaps under your arms snaps around your around your body under your arms and it has arm holes once you've got it all snapped together um, this is the model now this isn't Rothko or anything I think this is actually military Canadian military issue um, so that would be their stock number or their uh, identifying number I guess uh, there's no branding on this at all uh, it's just uh, yeah an awesome tarp slash poncho um, when you use this thing as a tarp or as a um, shelter of course you can just take this hood cinch it up nice and tight pull down the drawstring just shove that through your or just leave it out whichever you want really I've never had any water get through this thing uh, just get that all bunched up and spread the whole thing out nice and wide. Uh, water sheds off this thing like a duck's back. I mean, it's it's obviously its purpose. It's uh, it's a rain poncho, so you'd expect full uh, water repelling. Also has some ventilation in the hood. A little vent hole here, which comes out to the side of your head. There's a little pocket there that corresponds with the hole. Just get you a little, uh, a 
little air into your skull, I guess, so you're not uh, completely overheating. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I, I realize this isn't exactly a, a good video for uh, for showing you guys detail on something like this. It's just so large to get in front of the camera. Probably should have been something I did outside, but I uh, wanted to show you this. It's a good piece of gear, guys. Uh, like I said, I think it was around $25, $30, something around there. If you see one of these in a surplus store around you or online, I definitely recommend picking it up. Anytime I go out in the woods uh, for a multi-day camp, I take this with me um, instead of a tarp. Uh, so it's it's really easy to uh, put up a shelter. Main thing I got to worry about with my shelter is, uh, you know, uh, building in the sides and a platform to get myself off the ground. This thing is is quick and easy. It's plenty big enough to cover you, um, or at least uh, do a good portion of the work as far as covering your overhead so anyway um thanks for watching everyone uh go ahead and give the video a like uh subscribe if you have any questions comments uh, feel free to leave them below um and uh have yourself a great day